Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Abhishek Podil. Today I've got a problem from fluid mechanics. Here you can see a pipeline which is carrying water and is connected to the pitot tube. Uh, this pitot tube is a device which is used to measure the velocity of flow inside the pipeline. Okay, you know it's, this is also called the stagnation tube which makes the flowing water velocity equal to zero. So that's why it is called stagnation tube and it is based on the Bernoulli principle. Okay, there is another device which is called Venturimeter and I'm going to do the problem of Venturimeter later on in my videos. Let's get into the problem. Here you can see a water flows horizontally past the pitot tube. This water is flowing horizontally, the direction is given over here. Uh, you are supposed to apply the Bernoulli between A to B, not from B to A because uh, you have to follow the direction. You know, here is a mercury over here, this is mercury given, okay, in question, uh, such that mercury within the manometer is displaced as shown. Okay, this is mercury you can see here, this is mercury and is displaced as shown, determine the mass flow rate inside the pipeline, mass flow, how much is the mass flow inside the pipeline, having diameter 100 mm. Okay, let's get into the problem, how to solve this one. Okay, I'm going to apply two concepts, one is from manometric equation and another is Bernoulli to solve this kind of problem. Let's apply Bernoulli between, Bernoulli equation between, a to B, P A by gamma plus B A square by 2 G plus Z A is equal to P B by gamma plus B B square by 2 G plus Z B. Okay, this is the Bernoulli principle which says that total air inside the system remains uh, constant. It's a very uh, close, so that's why uh, the loss is neglected. So uh, here, uh, here you can see. This is a stagnation tube, T is a stagnation tube and this is a stagnation point, okay? So that's how you can term that, you can see that this velocity BB is going to be zero because this pitot tube works on the principle uh, of making the velocity of, uh, at that point equal to zero, okay? So that's why this velocity B is equal to going to be zero and this Z A and Z B is going to be cancelled out, why? Because this is uh, the, the, from the same level, horizontal level, okay, from the datum, these both A and B are in the same level. So that's how you can cut this ZA and ZB. So now let's uh, write PB minus PA, PB minus PA, okay, PB minus PA is equal by, is equal to gamma into BA square divided by 2Z, all right? This is, okay, let's uh, put the gamma of water here, over here, PB minus PA, is equal to 9810 into BA square divided by 2Z. Alright, you can get the value of PA minus PB is PB minus PA is 9810 divided by 19.62. Okay, this value is 2 into 9.81 and you will get 500 BA square. Okay, this is equation number 1. You can term this as equation number 1. Alright, and now now I have, I have applied the Bernoulli between A to B and here I say that the velocity at point B is zero because this is stagnation tube, the velocity at this point is, uh, is going to be zero, okay, is made zero. So I have got PB minus P that is 500 BA square. Okay, now let's apply the manometric equation between this point, okay. This is the differential level you can see over here, differential level. I term this differential level is x x x x and I'm going to apply the manometric equation between A to B, all right, to get the value of pressure difference because these YouTube are used to determine the pressure difference between the points. So that's why uh, let's, uh, we can apply the manometric equation. Applying manometric equation, the data, datum you can see that is x x, all right. So let's start from the A, you can start from B as well. I'm going to start from A, all right. P A plus gamma water into height, how much? From A to this, this point that is 100 mm, 0.1 meter, plus gamma of mercury, gamma of mercury into height how much? How did you, height is this height, this height how much? Let's find this height. You can uh, put it over here, 75 plus 50, 125 minus 100, that is 25 mm, all right? 25 mm, this height is 25 mm. You can get this from the dimension, you get the 25 mm. Okay, gamma of mercury. I go from this point A, okay? Gamma pressure PA plus gamma of water into height, 100 mm, 0.1 meter. And then gamma of mercury into height, 0.025 meter. 0.025 meter, all right? And I have, I have come to this point. At this point, the pressure is same. 
pressure is same so you can go directly to this point okay from this point you can directly go to the point b because why there is water okay there is water so that's when you can directly go like this is how much this is 125 mm all right in this 125 mm you the water inside this this is here is water so that's how you can write like gamma of water gamma of water into height how much 0.125 is equal to that is pb all right pb now let's get to find out pb minus pa pb minus pa how much is pb minus pa let's calculate this how much is the pb minus pa the pb minus pa is 3077.89 3077.89 okay this is equation number 2 you can get the value of pressure difference by using the manometric equation and also from Bernoulli equation all right so both are the equation used in this type of YouTube connected to the pipeline problem so okay I've got this one this one by solving this equation two equation I've got velocity that is 2.481 meter per second all right by solving both two equation we can get BAH that is how much 2.481 meter per second 2.481 meter per second the question asks in the mass flow rate okay the question asks you mass flow rate so that's why let's get the find out let's find out the discharge all right discharge is equal to area into velocity ba area into velocity area into error area is how much you know here is a 50 mm radius so that's why pi into 0.05 square pi r square is a area of the pipeline and then velocity you have calculated this 2.481 you can get the discharges this is discharge is 0.09019457 meter cube per second the discharge is this much okay this is discharge and now the question asks you to find out the mass flow rate okay okay it is in kg per second so that's why let's convert this meter cube per second to kg per second so the mass flow rate is mass rate all right mass rate mass rate means mass by time mass by time means volume into density by time by time volume by time means discharge okay density is rho and discharge is q okay discharge is q and i have got density of the uh, water that is 1000 and q is almost this much 0 0.0194857 and you multiply by this you will get 19.449 round of it's round of 19.49 kg per second all right kg per second the mass rate is in kg per second which is written as m dot also m dot okay i've got m dot is m dot equals to 19.49 kg per second okay this is how this is done this problem is done like this okay this is a very nice problem uh, which is frequently uh, you know has a tendency to be asked in final examination so prepare very well my students okay uh, see you in the next video i'm going to cover some benzene meter problem in my next video okay thank you so much